Hey there, welcome back to my channel. You're at the Thrifty Journal Shop, and my name is Amber. If you're new here, welcome. Um, today I'm just gonna uh, share a flip through of one of my journals uh, that I made, and um, I'm gonna talk a little bit about grief. So if that's a sensitive topic, or um, you're not into hearing about that today, um, I just wanted to mention that. So I had done a video a while back and shared um, my big glue book art journal and I had did a spread on um, my bear dog that I lost and I talked a little bit about him and um, grief and so and I had mentioned um, my dog Jazz also and in that video I said that it had been I think two years that I lost Jazz and um, I just realized it's been three and then probably four that I lost my bear dog. So this was Jazz. And um, I mentioned him that I had him at a, as a, I got him as a puppy. He was a rescue and um, he was really my best friend. And it's taken probably about two years, three now, to where I can talk without crying. <laughs> um, but when he passed, um, I, I really wanted to make a journal and I wanted to put all of his photos in there and I just, I couldn't do it. I had all this stuff and I'd pull out the box and I would just get so emotional. And probably six months or a year, I don't even know a time anymore, but before I lost him, I, um, I lost um, my bear dog. And that was the spread I did with my, inside my journal. So I had done this, um, done this page in remembrance of him and I pulled it out of a journal and I want to actually put this in um, the dog journal that I'm starting to work on. So here was just um, this beautiful quote and I won't read it. Maybe I'll read it um, one day when I uh, add it to the journal, but it's just beautiful. And uh, then it, here's just a photo of um, me and him. And then this is me and Bear and Jazz and my mom and her dog Dewey. So um, yeah, so at the time of losing Jazz, when I was trying to journal about him and, and I wanted to make this journal and I just couldn't do it, part of me felt bad because I wanted to celebrate his life. And I was just in such a, just, I was just so sad. And I made this journal. So this was just, um, I think this is some vintage sheet and this, just a bunch of scrappy scraps that I like to do. Um, and it's really full, just this really pretty fabric. And I had these little, uh, doodad, doohickey things that I attached here. Um, and when I made this journal, I just knew I needed to journal. I needed to work through the grief somehow. So what I decided to do with this journal was I called it my spirit animal journal. So yeah, 2021. And just a, a tad, just a little bit about me. Um, I've had, I feel like many jobs in this lifetime, <laughs> but I've always worked with animals somehow. I've just always been impacted by animals. I've been a pet sitter. I still do pet sitting, house sitting. I've worked um, for the Humane Society. I've worked for animal rescues. I volunteered at animal rescues. I worked at Best Friends Animal Society out in Utah. Um, I've fostered animals. So I've just I've always been such a part of my life. I've had family friends who've had animals and I've just been so impacted by dogs and cats and then, you know, chickens, if I've, you know, pet sitting for just all array of different animals, horses. And then just because I'm somebody who likes to be outside in nature, I just find so much inspiration and just at peace with being out um, in nature. I think I shared how some days I feel like I live, um, I just, you know, I wake up and my yard is just a big um, animal jungle. You know, I've got cranes and geese and fox. I saw a fox the other day and owls. And so animals just have always just been such a part of me and my spirit. So I created this journal and what I was going to do was I was just going to 
journal about animals who have who had impacted my life and i didn't realize it at the time but this really helped me work through the grief of losing you know barren jazz so and i had lost a cat too so <laughs> there was just a lot of loss but as i made this journal i didn't really know what i was going to do where it was going to take me and it started out just me cutting, um, taking children's book pages because I love using children's book pages and just doing random stuff. So there's a lot of random collage in here. Me trying to figure out my artist style, really just every day, just trying to put something on paper because I needed to. So at the time, I was a long term sub in a school and I would take this with me every day to school. And I would just work on it. If I had time at lunch, um, I would pull it out and work on it. So just a bunch of different um, animals. You're going to see animals in here. Um, playing cards, stickers, wolves. I love wolves. Birds. Um, just, it's messy and just there's no rhyme or reason in here. I add a lot of stickers. I just was gluing stuff down. It was like therapeutic. Winnie the Pooh. Um, yeah, just scraps. And then I started to think about, I had this box, this photo album, or this box of photos that were just sitting in a box full of animals, either our pets as kids or family members' pets. So I thought, I'm just going to pull them out and start putting them in this journal because they're just sitting in this box. So here was this Amel mute. This was Siku. And I, in my um, 20s, I went to, um, when I was in college, I used to pet sit for him all the time. He was this gorgeous Amel mute, uh, beautiful. And oh, just such a cool dog. And I had this photo, so I added him. Um, here is uh, a dog, Jagger, a dachshund that my, um, that my grandparents had. And there's me. Oh, I probably was seven or eight, and I'm with Jagger. Um, just a random page of birds. I love Sesame Street. Polar bears. Okay, and I, I love this picture. So this was a dog that uh, my mom and dad had. Um, I was probably in my 20s. Ozzy was his name. And Gage. And Gage, was a, Gage I think, lived to be 20. He was my cat, and then he ended up living with my parents for a while. Such a sweet soul. He was a rescue. I got him in college. He went all over places with me, and um, I love this picture, and they were buddies. And Ozzy was just such a sweet boy, a rescue. They're looking out the sliding door. There's just me with this llama, or an alpaca. We used to walk at this farm, and this alpaca was just, it loved me for some reason. It like loved my long hair. So it's just that picture, um, a polar bear. And there's Gage, my sweet cat that I talked about just a couple minutes ago, who was 20. My dad took this photo. I just love this photo. And then here's my jazz man. Um, oh yeah, sweet boy jazz, a lot of tail wagon. He was just, he was a special soul. And this is a fun page, just a squirrel and just playing around with different scraps. Oh man, I'm, I loved working in this journal. Um, I think I used some chalk here, um, just random book pages, a wolf, and just some textured um, book pages with the gold there. More birds, a cow. And then here was my bear dog. <laughs> he was always staring at me. <laughs> and then there's me and um, Ozzy, my mom and dad, or a family dog. And then I wrote, I did some journaling about him here. Um, this is a darker picture you can't really see, but this was my cat Nips, who I lost probably a year ago. Um, there's my jazz man, and I had Popeye. Um, she only lived probably a year. She had feline leukemia. She died really young, but I rescued her as a kitten, and she only had one eye. 
she was such a sweetheart. I used to do some grooming. So I worked in a grooming shop and I ended up with quite a few rescues at that time. Um, I wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't trade it though. They impacted my life. Um, just some random doodling cows. Here's a little poem. Um, here's an old picture of my brother and I, and we had this little Terry Poo cockapoo dog we rescued when we were, my mom and dad rescued, and her name was Lady. So I put her in there. So this journal just turned into just being such great um, therapeutic, working through grief and remember it, celebrating life. Um, and it really helped me um, heal. This is Starla. This is my brother's dog. Um, here's Nips, my cat, and Popeye. And then here's just a family picture. And you can't really see it, but I'm holding my aunt's dog, Dweezel. It's a French bulldog. I used to put it in my backpack. It didn't like to walk, so we'd walk around the lake, and I'd put it in my backpack. Um, a squirrel. There's Gage again. And then here was my sweet cat, Cricket. And she was a rescue, and she just looks like the grumpy cat. I used to groom her. She's like a Persian Himalayan. She had an attitude, but she just, here's a picture of her with Santa. <laughs> she was such a sweetheart. Aww. Um, yep, and oh, there's the French Bulldog I'm talking about in my backpack, and um, we're going to get ready to walk around the lake. This is me um, and one of the pit bulls. I used to work at um, Best Friends Animal Society out in Kanab, Utah. And um, this was one of the rescues. There's me and Ozzy. I used some rose petals here. Um, Bear Dog and Popeye. More Popeye. I used to call her Popeye Pretty. It's just a lot of random collage. Just some cutouts from... Um, children's book. Here's a moose and a wolf and a dog. Oh, uh, when I was young, we had um, my uncle had this mastiff, and her name was August Moon. And um, there's Lady. <laughs> and then here's Jazz. You're in love, Jazz. My heart, my honey, my friend. Precious moments, so special. So I did, you know, this page in remembrance of him. It's one of my favorite photos. My dad took that. Oh, and then here's me as a kid. We were camping, and there's a little chipmunk on my foot. It's another little kitty I had. Um, this was Huckleberry. He's inside my Jeep. Sweet boy. There's Ozzy. Looks like the movie E.T. when E.T. hides in with all the stuffed animals. <laughs> So, oh, these were kittens. When I was a kid, we had, um, we had cats or we had a cat and she had babies. And, um, so I think we ended up giving these away, but I just remember they were, um, outside sitting on the porch and I named them. This was Whiskers and Blackie. So that's an old photo there. There's me and, um, Dozer. This was, um, my mom and dad's dog. Sweet boy. Just more cutouts. Um, here's me and my brother, and we were young, and this is when we decided that Lady, our dog, my grandma and grandpa's dog, Jagger, the dachshund, were going to get married. So we had a ceremony for them. <laughs> oh, boy. Um, wolf. Love wolves. And then here's um, a picture of Jazz and Bear and Dozer, and they're all in heaven. Here's Dewey. He's still with my mom and dad. Sweet boy, Dewey. Oh, it looks like there's a flip out here. More animals. Of course. Mm. Ozzy loved him. He had the cutest ears. <laughs> there's a deer. There's Dozer. He's got a jersey on. And I think we're getting to the end. Oh, there's Lady. And there's me. I think I'm maybe four. Maybe three or four here. And this is Ruffles. My cat. 
And there's me and I was pet sitting kitty cat there. And that is the end. And I could probably have two or three more journals of animals that um, have impacted my life in such a profound, beautiful way. So I just wanted to share this journal with you, take you on a flip through and, you know, just share with you that whatever type of journaling that you do, it can be so therapeutic. And I know grief is kind of a sensitive topic, which it shouldn't be because sometimes you do really, you have to sit in it to heal from it and to work through it. And for me, I found the best way is just to journal. And um, this journal was so healing and so beautiful. I just, it brought back some memories working in it. So I hope this um, was helpful to you. It maybe gave you um, some inspiration or um, some ideas if you're looking to work through some stuff. Thank you so much for all the support. I love you guys. I hope you have a fantastic day. Get outside, do something fun, and find some time to create for yourself. Thank you so much for being here, and thank you for watching. I'll see you soon. Take care.